point, the seat of the emperor is, is in Constantinople. But of course, what is, you know, the, the Holy Roman Empire, the, the, the Byzantine Empire is systematically whittled away. It's whittled away by the rise of Islam. And in a lot of ways, Islam is a reaction to the Christian emperors who will not tolerate um, other religions mm -hmm. and are very violent about it. There's a very, you know, uh, Justinian, very violent man, brutal, brutal uh, guy when dealing with other religions. And so Islam is seen as sort of a reaction to that. Now, when you talk about the mysteries, and, and what I try to explain in, in, in the book is that rock and roll music is sort of a combination of West African drumming music and chants, but also Celtic music, mm -hmm. uh, Celtic folk music, uh, dance music and the ballads. You know, when you take these elements, and this is something interestingly enough that sort of Walt Whitman observed happening in, uh, in America, that, that this was going to create a new, you know, an American folk music that, that the, the Celtic music, the Irish immigrants coming in, right. and particularly after the, uh, the potato famine, as well as the slave trade. I mean, these people are all sort of flooding into the country at the same time. You know, mm -hmm. we have a slave trade. And we have sort of, I guess, almost an ersatz slave trade with, it. you know, the, uh, the Irish, um, you know, in, in many ways are, have, you know, just as appalling social conditions as, as the slaves in the South. I mean, these people are living in abject poverty, disease. But what happens is that a funny thing happens is that somehow these groups, which are very suspicious of each other, which don't, you know, don't particularly like each other, their music starts to coalesce. And this is where we see the rise of rock and roll, uh, rhythm and blues, gospel, all these styles that we see as American music is this combination of these two styles. But there's a very interesting phenomenon going on here is that both the Celtic music and the West African music are direct descendants of the ancient mysteries, that these come out of traditions that themselves come out of, of ancient Egypt, uh, the ancient Mediterranean, mm. this whole nexus that we have um, the, the, the Druids, you know, this is something that Michael Tessarian talks a lot about, you know, the Druids uh, very much being part of that network from Egypt. Um, and we also, interestingly enough, uh, there was the discovery of, of Egyptian texts from a, a Celtic Christianity uh, monastery that were recently discovered. Mm -hmm. um, but what's happening is that rock and roll, it's very DNA comes to us directly from the ancient mysteries. Right. Um, the, the mystery religions, the mystery cults. I mean, people tend to sort of confuse those as mystery schools, which are, are a much different phenomenon. But the West African music uh, you know, that we see coming into America, that we see Santeria, that we see voodoo, that we see these different traditions that have their own musical expression, but also these music, the British folk music, the Irish folk music, Scottish, uh, this whole Celtic sphere, both of those can tie their direct lineage to the ancient Egyptian mysteries. And isn't that an amazing thing? You yeah. know? And this is something that I, I'll take you through step by step in the book. You know, that, that this is not just a, a supposition, that this is documented. I, I think I'm just the first person to connect the dots here. Absolutely. It's very interesting, uh, again, Chris, that we can see this clear, you know, progression then from the ancient world up to uh, to America, you know, really where also rock and roll in that sense, uh, you know, got started. We have this melting pot of cultures happening over there in one way, and that 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 mix, that brew out of that, we get this whole new, new scene, whole new, uh, you know, uh, way of looking at music as well, obviously, and, and it comes with that connection to the ancient world, and that is very interesting. And uh, there, there's so many aspects in the book as well that we haven't, uh, you know, talked about yet so far. There's other things that I want to go into. I want to talk a little bit about the 
the Masonic mysteries, you know, and how obviously drugs and 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 sex as well play into this. You mentioned heavy metal as well; that that might be one of the uh, the musical genres in the in the past as well. That that would be really interesting to talk about. And th- there's many other things as well. But tell us a little bit about the release of the book here uh, at the end of the first hour here, Chris, and uh, when it when it is going to be out, and and uh, where you're going to put up information about it, and obviously where we can go to uh, to pick up a copy as well, Chris. The street date on the book is October 5th. It will be available everywhere. Um, I, it's, you can order it on Amazon now. Um, and it should be on all you know the major booksellers and things like that. I mean, this book will be available hopefully everywhere. Um, you know, it's a mass market paperback. Um, you know, if it's not available on your favorite bookseller yet, hopefully by October 5th it will be but as I said it is available on Amazon.com right now alright that's excellent and then of course as well for further uh, information about what you're doing Chris in terms of your uh, blogging secretsun.blogspot.com uh, I'd reckon you put up some information as well uh, about the book there links and so forth as well but Amazon.com that's the primary site if, if you guys out there want to order it uh, online as it were uh, straight away. But uh, be- beyond that, Chris, is there anything else you would like to mention in terms of website or information about the book uh, before we round things off here for the first hour? Um, I'm going to, as much as I can, let the book speak for itself. I, I think that, you know, I worked very, very hard to lay all of this out in a very concise and systematic manner. Um, from you know, from soup to nuts, you know this this entire history, which is very complex, but I think that the book will walk you through it. That I, I don't feel that the book needs a lot of explanation outside of what's you know within the covers of the book itself. All right, really good. Uh, again, the title: "Secret History of Rock and Roll: The Mysterious Roots of Modern uh, Music." Uh, 